so yeah, there's that. And um, uh, I guess about that. I guess that's about it. I hope I, I said everything about my academics. It is like yeah, about 35 minutes. So that that should be good. That should be good. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is some stuff about politics. So as you know, it's been a while since I've talked about politics and everything because there are other stuff I was talking about. And honestly, as the primary is going, like, I, I just really hope Joe Biden is not the nominee. I really think he's going to lose to Trump. And even if he won the general election, it'd probably be disastrous because that now we have a president that's not going to do much on climate change. And then in the midterms in 2022, Republicans are just going to get back the House. And uh, <laughs> they probably may still keep the Senate even in 2020, which would be just, which would be just mental. Of course, this has happened before. Or, but uh, if they put the Senate in 2020 and Joe Biden is the president, that'd be that'd be disastrous. So yeah, you've liberated the union leaders. The rest of the strike workers are being held in the jails at the top of this hill. Let's show ink the united populace can't be I Start by heating the minimum security blocks with some blazing orange. Remember, you can wall jump to an opposite building by pressing a white wall run. Wait. Wild wall running. I thought it said white wall running. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. Fuck. <laughs> white wall white wall running. <laughs> I mean technically that's why I said it because it's like the walls are white, right? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, where is the red fuck? Oh there it is. Good. Now let's do that. The best thing about me playing in the day is that I don't really have to worry about if I'm going to interrupt anyone, which I don't think, it's never happened throughout my times of playing this game, but I mean, I don't know, I mean like, like I said, nobody, nobody ever commented, oh, oh wait, what do I do, why did I, what's the point, why did I pull this for the readings later, fuck. Oh shit. I have shield. So. There we go. Oh, cool. God. Oh, fuck. I'm just dying. Where, where, where is the... Oh. Mercy. There we go. I'm green too. If I can take out this guy. Oh, God. Alright. That should be good. I'm not gonna take out these guys. Uh, the there we go. There we go. And, um, okay, I'm good. Now that's a relief. I made it. Oh, I should have gotten this one. I need to be uh, yellow. All right. Down below. Okay, I think that's, that should be good. The yeah, ambulance is going away. Oh fuck, what, why did that happen? So what else? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So about the election. I'm surprised that there's so many candidates running and the funny thing is that some of them would be better off if they were running for the Senate. Like Steve Bullock should probably be running for Montana. He's another corporate Democrat, but I'm honestly fine with a centrist Democrat winning Montana because, you know, fucking Montana. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's probably not going to work. Of course, a uh, progressive would be nice too. Like, kind of like, who's the last guy that was running for the house in Montana? What was his name? Uh, fuck, I forgot. I was honestly hoping he would, he would win the race, but sadly not. God, it was that guy who's facing off against uh, that guy that body slammed the reporter. What was his name? Uh, oh. Uh, what was his name? Like, 
body slammer. Oh, I'll, th I'll think of it when it comes to my head. Yeah, I was hoping, like, because, like, Steve Bullock is running for president. Of course, that'd be good to split the corporate Democrat vote, but it's starting to seem like... It's like Biden is kind of immune to the vote splitting thing, you know? Maybe we have to actually, you know, let me actually let's wait a bit. Because the debates haven't started and nobody knows who's candidate, so let's wait till January, then we'll see where things are going. Because you also have to remember, the, for Bernie supporters, their second choice is Joe Biden, surprisingly. So that just goes to show that it's all just name recognition. We have to wait for them to establish their policies and maybe they may jump ship and stuff. Missing 100 prisoners. Do not approach. Contact your friendly neighborhood inky. for Colorado for John Hickenlooper not running. Honestly, that's it's good because like he's also a corporate Democrat. And, I'll, and here's the thing, Colorado, they it, it's a state that can elect the progressive. It's starting to turn more blue than like than a swing state. So yeah, honestly, it's good that Hickenlooper's not running. We could probably have a progressive senator from Colorado. Uh, and Stacey Abrams, Stacey Abrams shouldn't be running for president. I know it's like decision pending September, but honestly, I think she should just be better off running for the Senate in uh, Georgia. Honestly, Senate, not don't run for governor, run for Senate. Or maybe you might have a better chance. I mean, I don't know. I think, why not just try Senate? And if you fail that, you can run for governor after two years, you know? I don't know. Uh, is there, I think I have to go off. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to see where to go next. Yeah, so, uh... Oh, and I guess I would like to leave off with... For those of you guys who haven't done this, please donate at least... Or one donate one dollar to Mike Gravel so he can just get on the primary debate stage. Just so that he can, he can just fucking slaughter Joe Biden right in front of his face if he's ever gets the chance to get on the debate stage. I, I decided to donate one dollar to him. I mean, at first I was kind of holding it off because I was... I had to see, like, just check out more of him. And he's also progressive, but I thought, oh, he might split the progressive vote. But it turns out he's not running for president. He only just wants to get on the debate stage and help out be Bernie Sanders' attack dog, you know? So, yeah, I highly support that. Now we have him. That power station should have the goods to melt all of the frozen ink. I'm freezing out here, Blob. Get in there and turn up the heat. Oh, that power station over there. Okay. What do I need? Good green. Okay, I want to find some yellow. There's a light bulb. That's good. More gradient. Anyway, so, uh, I don't know why I have this one. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay, I'm green now. So let's get the power station. There it is. Oh, wait a minute. One more spot. There we go. Where? Oh, here we go. Here we go. As long as they do more uh, challenges, because they're weird. Oh, should I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me access the building first, then I'll go. Stay green, you know? There we go. Yeah, so. Donate to Mike Gravel just for him to get into the debate stage. And speaking about the debate stage, obviously it's only just one, like, almost one month away. And also, for the record, it, it's still it's still viable to give Mike Gravel, Mike Gravel one dollar. Like, he could still maybe make it out the debate stage. Considering I actually looked it up, I, I'll read a link to the article that the deadline to the uh, Democratic debates is actually June the 12th, and, I, and right now it's May 29th. Did I mention the date before my beginning video? Oh, I think I haven't. Yeah, it's May 29th. Yeah, so... 
May 29th, that's when it takes place. Uh, I mean, uh, June the 12th, that's when the debate takes place. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my uh, the time I'm playing this deadline. So, June the 12th, that's the deadline. So, there's still time to donate to Mike Ravel. I highly recommend it because we need someone to literally attack Joe Biden so then Bernie Sanders or Tulsi Gabbard can have a chance to face off. You know Donald Trump, I would say. So do that. Oh yeah, and also for those of you who are wondering, you know, I did say I was going to research a little bit of Pete Booty Judge, and honestly, after some time, I could actually confirm that yeah, Booty Judge is a corporate Democrat, and I would not vote for him in the general election. I mean, especially especially considering he actually says that he he wants to implement a national service kind of thing where it's mandatory to do some kind of service thing. Of course, he didn't say, uh... He didn't say... There we go. He didn't say, like, a mandatory draft, but it kind of sounds like it, you know? So, and because of that, uh, I would never support someone that wants to reintroduce the draft and stuff, you know? So, yeah, if Moody Judge is the nominee, I will not vote for him in the general election. I would definitely not vote for Biden, I would not vote for Beto, I would not vote for Kamala, none of the corporate Democrats. I'd say this, that the only candidates that I would probably vote for, you've exposed another section of the ink trunk light. I feel it warming up around here at last. But our work here is not done. Don't forget, we have to rescue 200 greeting workers. Yeah, so the only candidates I vote for are uh, Bernie Sanders, well, Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard's like my number one choice, Dangerous Instability, Detective, Permafrost Layer, excuse me, I'll even see in Trunk Collider. So Tulsi Gabbard's my first choice, Bernie Sanders is my second choice, and then there's uh, Andrew Yang, uh, maybe Mary, Mary Wilson, I mean, I haven't like looked at her campaign that much, but maybe her if I know much about her. She's gonna be on the debate stage, so I definitely, like, get the idea of her, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, Marion Wilson. Uh, maybe Jay Inslee, because I do agree with his climate change policy, but I need to see his foreign policy and other stuff to make sure he is, like, at least a Martin, o Martin O'Malley type Democrat, you know? Someone that's, like, not a hardcore Clinton Democrat, but probably not progressive. But then again, I'm kind of okay with these kinds of uh, Democrats, I would say. Like, if they're just a Martin O'Malley type, I could get down with them. So, yeah. Uh, Jay Inslee and, of course, Elizabeth Warren. So, we'll see how, how they stack up, you know. But, of course, any of these candidates, I would definitely vote for in the general. And all the other candidates, yeah, I would not vote for them in the general election. Not including uh, Mike Ravel, because like I said, he's not really running for president, he just want to get on the debate stage. So, of course, I'm just ruling him out. What if he does become the nominee somehow, which is obviously it's not going to happen because he's really old, then yeah, I'd definitely vote for him. Blah, we need to liberate more gradient workers so that they can help us turn the ink trunk collider back into the hydro station. Making buildings and release them into the streets. Hurry, it's starting to get colder, and time is running out. She's talking about the time limit, right? right. A lot more. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's what I think, and I finally have my opinion about Pete Booty Judge. Definitely not voting for him in the general. But if he manages to take some of Joe Biden's voters, and uh, I'm all for his his run. The more votes that Biden loses, the more a chance of a progressive would run in the general. Of course, if, uh, if it's guaranteed that Trump will win a second term, term, then yeah, please have Joe Biden as the nominee. I really don't want to lose against Trump. That'd be a huge nightmare scenario. <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna happen. I, mean, like, I doubt people would be able to re-elect someone even if the economy is great and stuff. But of course I can understand people re-electing Trump if he's up against another corporate Democrat. Because, you know, we've all seen that what's, what happened and stuff with Hillary. So, yeah, anyway. 
more gradients were released, but where are they? Like, just keep, uh, keep an eye out for the debate. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I just also hope both Bernie and Biden are at least in the same debate stage because I really want uh, Bernie to be next to Biden because I have a feeling that the Democratic establishment or the DNC are going to prevent Bernie or even Tulsi or Andrew Yang. Like, they're going to separate all the progressives from the one debate stage to, to with corporate Democrats. Biden is surrounded by corporate Democrats, and it would just be one debate stage filled with softball questions, while the other, the next night, will be filled with unfair, like, unfair questions, you know what I'm saying? So, I have a feeling that they're gonna do something, do some kind of crap like that, but if they don't, then okay, great, but, I mean, you know, I'll just show that they're just rigging it again, which they probably are, but I'm hoping Bernie might have a chance, you know? So, uh... 